everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a shock horror video. It is an everyday makeup look. And you know that I am big on colour, I am big on bright, vibrant shades and this kind of look is not very typical Charlena kind of makeup. And the reason that I decided to do this today is because I thought, hey, why not? There are loads of you that would like something like this. And secondly, I got some new makeup and I just wanted to use it and I thought, hey, why not? And in case you're wondering, I am wearing contact lenses. I will list the ones I'm wearing, but they are, they are prescription ones and they're a bit blue. They're actually meant to be grey, um, but that's by the way. So what I'm using in this video is my brand new semi-sweet chocolate bar palette by Too Faced. It's not new by any means, but it's new to the UK and I finally decided to kind of use it. And then I'm using my brand new Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation, which I've been loving so far. I'm going to do a review on this when I've got the chance to use it because today is like the second time I'm using it. So there is that. And then I'm also using Jeffree Star the Law Liquid Lipstick in the shade Celebrity Skin. I recently got this. So again, it's the first time I'm using it. So I thought, why not call this look an everyday sort of makeup look? This is by all means not a five minute makeup look, it's an everyday makeup look. There is a difference, five minutes means it's meant to take five minutes. This is not a quick, quick look. Um, I haven't got false eyelashes on because I thought for everyday people don't always wear false eyelashes. But for people that want to wear a makeup look to work, where you work five days a week, this is the kind of thing you could wear every day and then at the weekend switch it up. Or for those of you that haven't got the time in the morning to be faffing around, shall I wear blue on my eyes, green, that sort of thing. They just want something simple, quick and straightforward. No muss, no fuss. And that is how I came up with this look. So I hope you guys all enjoy. Um, oh, I got my sweatshirt in case you're wondering from H&M. It says I'm not sorry because I'm not sorry for whatever it is. Other than that, I hope you enjoy the video. Bye. Hello, everybody. So first I'm going to prime my eyes using Urban Decay's Primer Potion as this is my latest primer I'm using and then just blend it all over your eyes to give a nicer base to apply your eyeshadow. The wearing a primer is really important if you want your eyeshadow to last all day. Then I'm using this Makeup Forever Primer, it was just a free sample that I got with the foundation so I just chose to use it. Seemed nice enough for the day. Then I'm using my brand new Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation and as always I am dotting it all over my face this is two pumps worth of foundation i've applied everywhere then i'm going to use my real technique stippling brush to blend it all in and buff it in beautifully i love this foundation so far it gives a really nice natural finish and it lasts all day now i'm using urban decay's naked concealer in the shade medium neutral to cover my under eye dark circles as always and then to add a little bit of highlight I'm using Max Prep and Prime in the shade Light Boost as again as always and then I'm applying it to the high points of my face, my nose, my forehead, my, ch my chin <laughs> and my upper lip looking lovely. Now I'm going to blend it all in with a damp beauty blender. my Kat Von D shade and light contour palette and I'm using the top three shades which is Lucid, Lyric and Levitation and I'm using a Real Technique contour brush to correct, set and slightly highlight the under eye area and set the concealer. Then I'm using the two lighter shades to apply it to the high points of the face to basically just set the highlight. Now to set my foundation I am using my MAC Studio Fix powder foundation in the shade NC40 and a Sigma large powder brush as always to set all the foundation. I'm using my brand new Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette as you can see I'm very very excited it's new it's untouched it smells like fresh chocolate and I just happened to have a piece of chocolate lying next to me. I was actually eating it before I did this tutorial. It's not on purpose, it's coincidence and it tastes amazing by the way. Now I'm using the shade Coconut Cream and I am applying it all over the eyelid as a base. And I'm using my 
Sigma Tapered Blending E40 brush to apply it all over the place. Now I am using the shade, what's this one called? Peanut Butter, that's it. I hate peanut butter by the way. And I'm using a MAC 224 blending brush to go backwards and forwards in the crease area. I go back in twice to build up the colour, but as this is an everyday look, I didn't want to make it too intense. Using the shade Bon Bon and a Royal and Lang Nickel Eye Fluff Brush, I am applying this all over my lid. It's always good to use a fluffy brush when trying to get a shade on your eye to appear not too vibrant because it diffuses out the colour really, really nicely. And then I went back in with a little bit more of that peanut butter just to blend out any harsh lines. Next, I'm using the 227 brush by MAC and I'm using the shade Coconut Cream again just to intensify the highlight on my brow bone. I need to thread my eyebrows, which is why they're looking quite horrendous. And, and I'm just going back in again with that 224 brush just to blend out any harsh lines. Now I'm using the Groomer brush by Makeup Addiction Cosmetics just to brush out any makeup and to tidy up my eyebrows slightly. And then as always, I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in the shade Chocolate to fill in my eyebrows. After you've done all that, just set it with some clear brow gel so that it doesn't budge all day and stays and keeps all those pesky little hairs in place. Once you've done that, then I have eyelined or lined even eyelined my eyes with uh, the L'Oreal Superliner Perfect Slim, which is what I use every day. I haven't done a huge wing as this is an everyday look, so this is a baby wing for me anyway. And um, then I have just basically just done my usual eyeliner it's no different to how it always is the only difference is that the wing is a little bit tiny and that's it really very nice and neat as neat as possible I'm not always neat when it comes to eyeliner unfortunately I'm not the best hey, hey here we go eyes nearly done now I'm using the shade truffled and I am using a Sigma pencil brush to apply it to the lower lash line blending backwards and forwards to make sure that it's all lovely and smooth and blended out nicely then I'm using a Makeup Forever Aqua Pencil in black. Again, I was given it as a freebie, so I just thought I'd kind of throw it in the video. Then I'm using the shade Butter Pecan, and I'm using a MAC pencil brush to apply it to the tear duct. Now I'm using Sigma's mascara, which is called Sinuosity Lash. Um, I was sent this as I am a Sigma affiliate. It's actually the favorite out of my favorite out of the three that I was sent, as it's a curling lash and it really nicely curls your lashes to make them look really long. My contact lenses are making my eyes go red by the way, so don't get scared. I'm using the Chocolate Soleil Bronzer by Too Faced and a large angled brush by Sigma to warm up the face. It gives a really nice warm glow to the skin, something which you want for an everyday sort of look. Obviously contouring your face gives it a little bit of dimension. If you don't want to contour, you don't have to, but as long as you put something on your face to counteract the fact that you've got a flat foundation which has removed all natural colour from your skin, then just tidy up your contour so that it looks nice and sharp and lovely. On the cheeks, I am using Max Make You Mine Pro Longwear Blush, which is a gorgeous everyday sort of warm, glowy kind of blush. And then I've just toned it down a little bit because I realised I went a little bit overboard. But then I went back in again, so it kind of didn't make a difference. And then I'm using Estee Lauder's Bronze Goddess Illuminating Powder Jelly and a MAC Stippling Brush. This is a very soft highlight, a very subtle one. It's not too in your face, so it's perfect to use for an everyday sort of look. 
when you want to have that little bit of a sun-kissed glow. Now I am just blotting off or kind of wiping off uh, my lip balm and I'm using a Max Well Lip Pencil and I'm applying it really thickly around my lips as I'm going to be applying another lipstick to blend it in with it. So I apply it really, really thickly as much as possible. This is where the lip balm comes in really handy. And then once you've done that, then I am using Jeffree Star Cosmetics Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Celebrity Skin, which is a gorgeous, everyday, neutral, nudey, rosy, beautiful, lovely shade. And then again, I'm going back in with Well because it's a liquid to matte lipstick. It covered up some of the lip liner and you want the lip liner to show through. Now I'm using a lip brush, which is the Royal and Langnickel Pro Lip 159 brush. And I am blending the Whirl into the Celebrity Skin as it dries. This is the way that you can achieve a nice blended look with lip liner. Keep going backwards and forwards and as it dries, blend it in. That's the only way you're going to make sure that you get absolutely no harsh lines or whatsoever. Keep blending until it's dry. And here is the final look. I hope you all enjoy and yeah, let me know what you think. Bye.